Good morning, everyone. It's going to be raining for the next four days. I trimmed my hair a little bit this morning. Uh, today, we're going to talk about narcissistic women. And I know a few. So let me tell you what the characteristics that I notice, okay? They expect the man in their house to wait on them. Uh, oh, give me a glass of water, ice water, okay. Can you go get this for me? Can you go get that for me? When the man has just worked, you know, 10 hours at his job and she's sitting on in the chair expecting to be waited on. Uh, I still haven't got my allergy medicine. Oh my God. <clears throat> I need to get some. I'm going to have to break down and buy some like today. Okay. Back to the narcissistic women. They are attention seekers. <clears throat> they are always looking for ways to get attention from everybody in the room. They are chronic interrupters. Now, I interrupt people too, but it's because I think I have ADD, ADHD. I'm, I'm almost positive I do. But these are constant interrupters in a conversation. They feel like what you have to say is not important and they are always interrupting so that they get the limelight. Another thing I've noticed with these women is whenever you're on the phone with them, they're in the background putting their two cents in where they're not even part of the conversation and they usually get it wrong about what the subject matter is. These women need to shut up uh, and, and just stop. Uh, they also usually have a topic where they're constantly talking about it to get attention, whether it be their um, their physical uh, or ailments or whatever. Uh, they also are bitches. They're just bitches. Uh, I've been around a lot where I was waiting for the men to say, shut the... Yeah, just shut up. They're, they're constantly complaining and moaning. And uh, they're just like never happy. They, they uh, if you're planning something, they're going to put in their two cents and change the plans, even though everybody in the room is in agreement with it, right? Uh, yeah, and they are usually late, chronically late. I'm never late for anything. Uh, they're late to make people sit there and wonder where the hell are they. Um, these are women who will take the last dime out of your bank account to go take care of their nails. As you see, I, I'm not that girl, okay? Um, they usually are very, very bad about buying things that they don't need. Uh, a lot of them are... Uh, they can't keep a budget. They're always late on their bills. I haven't been late on any of my bills, I think, in 14 years. Um, they don't know what a budget is. And even though if they have money in the bank, they expect you to spend yours, okay? Uh, and if you are giving someone else in the room attention, they'll go out and start pouting. I've seen this many times. They're pouting because you're not giving them that attention. And uh, they're the type that when you like when you go on vacation or something, you you got to stop at Walmart and get everything that they forgot, right? Because they they're just never organized. They're, these are the ones that will forget very valuable documents that they need and then they cause a ruckus when they don't have them um like when you're um i don't know what's in the road i thought it was a dead animal okay they uh also 
put other people first in their lives instead of the one that loves them. Uh, they'll put they'll put other people who are really insignificant to them. They'll make them uh, the priority and not you. Uh, they expect you. They expect you to drop everything in your life to help them with some project that really is most of the time stupid as hell. Um, all right, what else can I say about them? Um, they are mean. They will run off at the mouth. They have this like polluted mouth. Um, and uh, I think that's enough on this subject today. Narcissistic women. Uh, they are, uh, they don't, they don't see the consequences of their actions and uh they're always disruptive no matter what the family's doing they gotta disrupt it uh you know everybody else in the family is like wearing walmart tennis shoes it's like there's nothing wrong with that but they've got the latest and greatest most expensive tennis shoes on you know this is what i'm talking about they, like I said, they don't have any idea of what a budget is. You know, it's all about them. Uh, they're, they're, you're not, it's not easy to reason with them either. They don't want to hear any reasoning. <laughs> um, they're very obsessed with everything in their life and nothing about yours. And they, 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 uh, if you're in the middle of a conversation, they're not listening to you. They don't care. They don't not care at all. So, uh, if you're with a woman like that, I feel sorry for you. Your life is going to be hell. Um, and it's not until you get away with that will you realize that your life is going to be a whole lot easier and better and you're going to be happier um yeah some of them will do things that are against the law and even if you catch them at them they don't even they don't care they will uh withhold sex from you they will withhold um physical intimacy yeah they, uh, they're just cruel. Most of them, uh, will use your animals against you. They don't want you to have an animal. They don't want you, uh, to give any attention to any other thing other than them. All right. Bye.